so this is problem 43 from chapter 9 on Kirchhoff's in the watching. Chapter 9 is sinusoidal steady state analysis and this section, which is section 7, is on source transformations, feminine Norton equivalent circuits, and this problem is on Norton equivalent circuits. So, the problem states, the device, this device here, is represented in the frequency domain by a Norton equivalent um, circuit. So remember that a Norton equivalent circuit is um, what the, um, if you were to take a complex circuit and reduce it into a single independent uh, current source in parallel with Z feminine. So that is what the device, the load sees. The load sees an independent current source in parallel with Z feminine. Well, when the resistor, um, when a resistor having an impedance of 5 kilo ohms is connected across the device, like such here, then the value of V0, which is described to be the voltage drop across the 5K resistor, that is going to be 5 minus J15 volts. In the second case, when a capacitor is connected, um, having an impedance of minus J3 kilo ohms is connected across the device, the value of I0, which is some current going through the capacitor, has is um, measured to be 4.5 minus J6 milliamps. So what we are trying to do is, given those two situations, we are asked to find the Norton equivalent, um, the Norton current, and the Z feminine. So we are going to do that by setting up two KCL equations in, both, in scenario one, case number one, and case number two. And by doing that, we are going to find that we end up with one equation and one unknown when we add the two equations together, and um, we can solve for Z feminine. Or, yeah, we can solve for Z feminine. So when we subtract one of these um, KCL equations from the other, the I Norton will go away and we'll be able to solve for Z feminine. Once you solve for Z feminine, you plug Z feminine back into one of those equations and solve for I Norton. And that is how you approach this problem. So it's time to pause the video and try the, that strategy or your own strategy and post a reply video. Okay, for now, let's go ahead and solve this problem. So the strategy that I would like to use is KCL. KCL, of course, says that the sum of the currents away from the node is equal to zero. That means this plus this plus this equals zero. So they gave me the information that this current, this voltage drop across the 5K resistor is 5 minus J15. Well, since it is in parallel with Z feminine, that must mean that Z feminine um, has the node at Z feminine has the same voltage because voltages in parallel are the same. So let's go ahead and having said that, I made that observation, let's set up equation number one. We got this current going into the node, so that means minus I sub n. Currents away from the node is positive, going current into a node is negative. This here is going to be that V out, right, which is five minus J15 over Z feminine, plus this current here. Well, what is that current? That current is, of course, V is equal to I times R. So, so therefore, I is equal to V over R, so therefore, this is going to be 5 minus J15 over 5K. That equals 0. That's equation number 1. Equation number two, that is going to be, again, the sum of the currents away from the node equals zero. I n is going into that node. So that is going to be um, minus I sub n. This current is, of course, V over ZTH. And V we don't know directly, but we do know that this I is 4.5 minus J15, J, minus J6 milliamps. And we also know that this impedance is minus J3K. So V is equal to IZ, 
So we can calculate this V by calculating this V because they're parallel connected, so they must be the same. So V is equal to IZ, which means 4.5 minus J 6 milliamps times minus J 3K. So kilos and millis cancel each other out. And what I come up with as far as that is concerned is I came up with this voltage is um, minus 18 minus J 13.5. So, so then this, that, that current then is going to be that voltage, which is plus minus 18 minus J 13.5. That is over Z feminine. Plus, and then the final one they gave to us. So we know that current to be 4.5 minus J 6. That is equal to zero. Now we have two equations and two unknowns. Our two unknowns are I, um, I Norton and Z feminine. So we can, we have I Norton here and I Norton here in equation one. So we can go ahead and subtract one from the other. So let's, I'm just gonna arbitrarily take subtract one from two. So that means the signs will change minus, right? This is minus five plus 15. This becomes minus five plus 15. And then now when I add them together, the I Nortons cancel out. So my new equation in solving is equation one plus equation two. So I've got minus 18 minus J 13.5 over Z feminine. And since they have the same denominators, I'm going to put them under the same one, same numerator. So minus 5 plus J15. And then the remainder of the current over here, we've got plus 4.5 minus J6 and then plus that stuff. And that is going to be my equation for Z feminine. So, it is so easy to make mistakes here. So, so easy. All right. Let me do this again. So, now I got, I'm going to calculate this piece right here. Minus 5 plus J15 divided by 5k, 5e3. Okay, that gives me something. That gives me negative 5. So this gives me um, 1 plus 3j milliamps. So here's the thing about combining this is that it actually gave me negative 0 0.001 plus 0 0.003 J. But we have to remember that the, this term here, this current here is given in milliamps, so we have to convert millis into millis um, so that we don't mix up our units. So we have 4.5 here minus 1. So then this is going to give me 3.5. And I've got minus 6j plus 3, so minus 3j. And let me verify that that is what I came up with last time as well. For 3.5 minus j3. So yes. So I came up with the same thing twice. I believe it. So replace all of that with plus 3.5 minus J3 equals 0. So now we can solve for, put this, the minus 3 and the minus J over here. So well, that's going to give me, this is equal to minus 3.5 plus J3. Great.
So now we can do a little bit of cross multiplying and put ZTH here and then divide by this its new coefficient and bring it down here. So meaning we can swap places with T. This becomes negative 3.5 plus J3 is equal to Z feminine. And so on the top we have minus 18 minus 20 minus 5, that gives me minus 23. And then I also have minus 13.5j plus 15, which gives me positive 1.5j. So on top, when I combine all of my like terms, I really have, I really have negative 23 plus 1.5j. And when I divide that out, I do that in my calculator, making sure that the parentheses are where they are supposed to be. My z feminine is 4 plus 3j. So that's one piece of my puzzle. So now I know z feminine was 4 plus 3j. So what is I Norton? Well, recall back in the video that we had constructed two KCL formulas. And we got rid of, subtracted one from the other in order to find Z feminine. Well, we can go back, now we know what Z feminine is, we can go back to either of those equations and solve for, um, for um, I Norton. So what did I do? It doesn't even matter. I'm just going to arbitrarily pick one. Which one did I pick? Okay. So, I picked the one with 18, so I want to stick with that. So I picked this one. I picked the one with the 18 over Z, the voltage with the 18 minus 13.5J. I picked this one. Okay, so that one, that equation was minus 18 minus J 13.5. And then now we know what Z feminine is, we can plug in the Z feminine. That is 4 plus 3 through J plus 4.5 minus J6. That's going to equal I norton. So let's go ahead and do this together. Parentheses are very important when dealing with polar numbers. Minus J. 13.5 divided by parentheses 4 plus 3j. And then let's just do that part. Okay, this piece here ends up just being negative 4.5. And negative 4.5 plus 4.5 cancels each other out. So I1 is just minus j6. So and that is the answer. Yes. Ooh, that scared my tummy. So minus J6. All right, that is the answer to number 43. Remember, if you got help, to please share the video and like the Facebook. Thanks. And let me know when you guys do well on exams. You know I root for you guys.